Hello everyone, welcome to Jio Tech, and this is the part four of the systems life cycle. Huh? Yeah, the system life cycle. And we'll be looking at implementation. We start with analysis, we got deep with design, we got pretty with development and testing, and now we just implement it. Okay, all right. Now, system implementation. Once the system is fully tested, the next stage is to fully implement it. Now, some of these stages in this process are shown below. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, I, I want to, so that we can both look at it very well. Now, there is a need to train staff on the new system. When you're implementing something for the first time, you're implementing a system, um, a new system, an updated version of what they have or what they have been using, there is a need to have a training staff. Take for instance, we say we, 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 we launched out the online school in the Edward community, we had to train staff. Staff had to be trained on how to use this online platform to uh, to bring it in into their um, their various curriculum, okay. So, um, what are the implementations? Now the system is tested. Now they want to implement it. Now they have to transfer the paper file or the electronic file into the new system. All the ones in the old system needs to be transferred into the new one. And how do we transfer them? You can either scan in in the document. You can scan the documents and put a digital format of them, digitalization. You can key in the document, or you can download files to a new database. Okay? That's how you, that, that, those are the three ways you can transfer a paper file or electronic file to a new system. Scan, key, and download. Now, change over to a new system has four phase. We have the direct changeover, parallel running, Pilot implementation slash running, phased implementation. Now, let's look at them one after the other. The advantages, and of course, the disadvantages as well. Now, for direct changeover, The design of implementation method with this method the old system is stopped immediately and the new system introduced at once so the old system is stopped and the new system is implemented immediately what is the advantage for the advantage the benefits are immediate okay uh, another advantage is costs are reduced because only one system is used, there is no need to pay for two set, two set of staffs. Okay? Now, the disadvantage could be this method can be disastrous. How? Because if the new system fails, huh, <laughs> the old system is no longer available. <laughs> that is a nightmare. A night. Man, you, you, trust me, you don't want to see the end of it. Parallel. With this method, the old and new system are running simultaneously, right? The old system is running, the new system is running, and for a time uh, before the new system takes over altogether. So the, the, the essence of the new system running together with the old system is to check you know, to see if that to check to see if it's running smoothly. Are there any errors? Are there any issue that needs to be worked on now before we, we fully want implement it all together? Note that they are implemented. They are working. Live data are running to it, and they are still observing for a while. Now, what is the advantage? If the new system fails, the old system will serve as a backup. Why they are working on it? Business will still be going on, right? And another advantage could be 
Yeah, it is possible to gradually train staffs. Is about it. So with this method, you don't have to rush the training exercise. And you're not spending too much because you're taking your time in training staff bit by bit. Disadvantage could be it is more time consuming than direct because they don't need to be entered into the two systems. You are entering here, you are also entering here, both of them. Okay? It is more expensive than the direct because extra staffs are obviously needed. You are running two systems, uh, two sets of systems. Staffs are also needed to run both systems together. We look at the pilot. We have looked at the parallel running, the pilot implementation, all the running. So let's look at the pilot. With this method, the new system is introduced into one branch, one branch or department or an office of the company. And its performance is assessed before being introduced elsewhere in the whole company. So for banks, what they do is that they can use one branch to implement it. Okay, let's use um, the most remote branch they have. They can say, okay, let's use Yola and implement it. If there's any issue in Yola, of course, we have a backup. We have a central backup. It doesn't affect anything. Okay, so that's what they do. Now, if the new system fails, only one part is affected. The remainder is unaffected. Okay, the ATMs are still working and they can still work with that, you know? Yeah. So, um, it is possible to train staff in one area only, which is more faster and less costly than parallel. Because here's the thing, if they train the staffs in Yola, the staffs in Yola are now their staffs. They can bring in these, these experts who have developed the system, train the staffs, they don't have to pay for any training cost again. Oh yeah, go to this branch, train them, go to this other branch, train them, go here, train them, go here, train them. Okay? Now, the costs are also less than parallel because only one part of the system is being used in the pilot warehouse that's that's an advantage okay that's an, uh, uh, an advantage so that is um it has it has so many good advantage because it's just if it if one if the system fails other parts um only one part is affected right so the remainder is unaffected so business is still going although it can be a disadvantage to that particular organization or to that particular department because you know Obviously, their job is going to be on a standstill. All right. The next one is phase. With this method, only the new system is introduced. Only when it proves to work satisfactorily. Right? The next part introduced and so on until the old system is fully replaced. What they do is they bring it bit by they bring it bit by bit. Uh, if this one is working, you yeah, bring it. If this one is working. Now, if the latest part fails, it is only it is only necessary to go back in the system to the point of failure. Hence, failure is not disaster because they are bringing it part by part. So you can easily detect quickly where it's having the issue. Right? Disadvantage is that it is more expensive than direct because it is necessary to evaluate each phase before moving to the next. Yes. Because you have to evaluate each phase before we show it is it's not expensive. You have to evaluate this one. It's working okay, perfectly. We have done all the testing, everything, no issue. You bring this one to is 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 really expensive. And time consuming. Whenever when you hear it's very expensive, the next thing that comes to mind is it's time consuming because each part needs to be what fully what evaluated evaluated. You have to fully evaluate each of those models, each of those parts, before making any further changes to what the system. And finally, it is possible to ensure the system works perfectly before expanding. So we see that we have one advantage and three disadvantages because you have to ensure the system what well, before expand it, that's because it's about it. Because you have to ensure before what you expand it. Although it can be a, an advantage because you have to make sure that everything is working before you bring there. So we, we see two advantage to disadvantage. Okay.